Hello and welcome to What the Hey, where someone asked a question, so I'm gonna answer it. Now, when I go to my notebook of knowledge, I see the question of What the Hey is Stand By Me? Now, the individual who brought up this topic would be M1, so hello to you and thank you very much for the question. Now, in terms of a very basic description, Stand By Me is a very distinguished song with hopeful and reassuring lyrics. There have been so many acclaimed singers and groups who have done covers of Stand By Me to kind of spread the message and great performance of Ben King. So for this video, what I'm mainly going to be doing is going over the timeline and history of the song, but I'm also going to mention the associations and what it's been used for, as well as who has done the covers of it. Now to get us started with one of the biggest dates for this song, that would be on April 24th of 1961 when Stand By Me was released, which is a long time ago. However, the history of this song is a little convoluted because when it was released in 1961, that technically wasn't necessarily the first release. The origination for Stand By Me essentially comes from the hymn writer known as Charles Tinley, who in 1960 came up with the hymn Stand By Me. And what Charles Tinley's Stand By Me essentially is in reference to would be Psalm 46, which is essentially all about fear and reassurance. So when Charles Tinley got the hymn out there, Benjamin King later down the line got the song and kind of rewrote it and included a 50s chord progression. And here's a really great video where this person basically shows and explains what a 50s chord progression is and how many songs use it. So if you're not really familiar with that, that's a good video to look into. And having Stand By Me change more so from a hymn to kind of a pop song, almost not really, kind of made it more enjoyable for the people of the time. So with the change in style that was helped to be made not only by Benjamin King, but two dudes, Jerome and Michael, they created the song and it's been used in a lot of different stuff. So Benjamin King is overall credited with being the main role in creating Stand By Me, or at least his main version of it, but you also had Jerome and Michael who helped to write the song, and then they recorded it on October 27th of 1960, and then later released it in 1961. And ever since it's been released, it's been used in so many different things like commercials, but specifically one of the major cases that kind of got it really famous was the film by the same name of Stand By Me in 1986. Which when I first got this question, that's what I thought they were alluding to, but it's the actual song, which makes sense because it's in the movie. <laughs> But in general, the song has been on the top charts multiple times, like in 1961 when it was first out, uh, but then you have 1986 when it was in the movie, but then also like 1987, so it's like a little bit after, but everyone still loves it. Finally, a lot of people like to listen to the covers of the song, even though the original is great, uh, but some people will reference singers like John Lennon, uh, Prince Royce, Florence and the Machine, as well as Snoop Dogg, which was surprising to find out. But in terms of my general opinion, it's really not surprising that you have big music artists who like to do covers of this song because it's a really nice song. And at least for me, sometimes it can feel a bit repetitive to listen to songs that are like light and happy and in a good mood, but I feel like the song kind of has two sides to it. I'm not that deep, but I just feel like that's the case. Because on one hand, the song is kind of like, I won't fear, I have the strength and you're gonna stand beside me, yahoo. But then on the other hand, I feel like the song also kind of talks about how I get my strength from people standing beside me. So I feel like it's a song that kind of goes about the idea of you can't just be strong with yourself. And I think that's interesting. For me, I think my favorite version of the song is the Benjamin King version. It just sounds really cool, especially with the intro because it's like, and it's like so fun. And if you have yet to give it a listen, I would definitely suggest doing so, even though it's an older styled song and it's kind of slow depending on who you listen to. Um, it's really good. I think it's a fun song. So that's essentially the answer to the question. And if you happen to have any questions, feel free to let me know and I'll get to working on them as soon as I can. But that's about it. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.